Hello everybody, it's Tony from Stamps By Me and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is to demonstrate three new stamp sets that we have just launched. One of which is the Big Butterfly and this is brilliant for using with watercolours and embossing and creating some great depths to some cards. The second one I'm going to be showing you is the Reef and this is brilliant. This is great for the lamination technique and the circular part is to assist you with getting a perfect wreath and the dark parts are to assist you with colour and depth. So I will show you case some cards showing you how to use that one. And then the one that I'm going to be using in the video today is the watercolour wreath. And we did one similar to this a couple of months ago and it's been really popular so I thought I'd do a wreath this time. It's got some beautiful sentiments in it and it is a big a5 stamp set so that's the one we're going to be using today so what I'll need is it's a quick five minute demonstration to show you what I'm going to do this is my stamp cleaning cloth these are brand new to stamps by me they were launched a couple of months ago and I wouldn't be without it as you can see my stamp cloth is disgusting but it still works perfectly so they come in a nice neat tube and these are available on the website I'm also going to be using my green and pink Tim Holtz Distress Inks and my brilliant Generations Back to Black ink. It's a true black um, and it's just perfect every time. You'll also need a misting bottle and a card. I've, now this is a top folding card and I've scored it across the top and along the bottom to create some depth. I just want it to be a one layer card for this demonstration. I want it to, to be quick so you just get the gist of how the stamp set works but I still didn't want the card to be bland so so it's a great way of adding depth to your card is putting some score lines at the top and the bottom. <clears throat> so in your stamp set then, this is the solid portion and this is the green part. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up in my green ink and the colour of this green ink is peeled paint and it's the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Now a lot of my videos I've used my generation inks but I just want to show you that my stamps can be used with other inks as well, not just my own. So this is my spray bottle. I like the watercolour effect. If you don't like the watercolour effect, just stamp it straight down. But I've just sprayed it and I'm just going to pop it into the centre of my card between the score lines that I created before I started the video. So stamp it down and you can see it stamps clear when you pop it down because the water bleeds and you take it off and then you get your watercolour effect leaves. Now I'm just going to clean the stamp on my stamp clean cloth and show you how clean it gets the excess residue off your stamp. So I'm going to move on to the flower part of it and again this is a watercolour effect, it's not perfect and it gives you like um, the, the bleed, um, should we say when you watercolour you get a slight bleed, a loose look we'll call it and that's what I've created with this stamp set. Before you go ahead and ink it up make sure you line it up and you know where you're going to pop it down and you're happy so when you come to stamp it down and your ink's on there you're ready to go. So I'm just going to ink it up with the pink one and that's um, the one I've used today is Picked Raspberry. And again I'm just going to give it a spritz with a little bit of water. So I'm just going to hover over the top and when I'm happy I've got it in the right place. As you can see I, I haven't actually got it quite right there and I'm thinking oh what have I done wrong but I'm just going to sit tight and just move it around until I'm absolutely happy. And you'll know when you're happy because the green parts of the leaves connect to the flower part. So just be patient with it and then when you're absolutely happy just pop it down in place and you'll see the colours um, soak into your cardstock. Lots of light presses to make sure the ink transfers from your stamp to your card and then take it off and then you should end up with a lovely coloured wreath. I've done this in blue um, the other day, different coloured shades of blue like I did with the poppy trio and it looks amazing so if you do get the stamp set give it a go with different colours because it looks superb. Always remember to clean your stamp, try and get in the habit. I'm nearly there, I sometimes forget but I'm nearly there. So I'm just going to, I've picked a sentiment out of the stamp set and the one that I've actually picked is to my wonderful friend. And this fits perfectly inside the wreath. There are other stamps on there that fit inside the wreath. Be mine, thank you and for you. So it's quite a good stamp set really with the sentiment wise. So I'll stamp it out in the centre. I 
And then to finish it, I was thinking maybe sparkle pen or gems or something like that. But I couldn't find my sparkle pen before I was preparing for this demo, so I had to go with pearls. So I'm going to bob a few pearls into the centre of some of the flowers. And when I put in my pearls down, I always work in a triangle format. So if you put one down, I always try and put one to the left and one to the right in a triangle. And then it obviously evens out your image towards the end. So these were quite large pearls I was using, so I decided just to put a few on rather than put them in every single flower. On some of the cards I made last week, I popped in the ones that didn't have pearls in, I popped some tiny 2 mil pink gems and um, it really gave it a lift. I was, I was pleased with it. So once I popped enough pearls on there, I then didn't want it to end with to my wonderful friend. Um, I wanted to stamp something on there something kind of special for a person that I'm going to give it to. So I, off the stamp set, I chose the sentiment, it's all about you, have a wonderful day. Now you could stamp this inside if you were just happy with the exterior, but I felt the card was lacking, so I decided to use this sentiment, and I decided to pop it on the bottom between my two lines that I put in with my embossing tool. So a bit of a tip then, if you struggle getting your sentiments on your block straight, pop them face down, then they will even themselves out. You'll be able to pick them up with your block and know that they are straight. There you go. So I'm just going to ink it up in the same colour as I did the other sentiment, back to black. And then I'm going to stamp it between the two score lines. And once I stamped this out, I still felt the card was lacking a little bit. So I decided to try and put some pearls down towards the end of the sentiment. But the pearls, again, they were too big. So I decided to leave it and I've decided that I will glitter the flowers up with my Spectrum Noir sparkle pens at a later date. But it's entirely up to you what you do with your card. The purpose of the video was to show you the watercolour wreath. But I didn't want the leave to leave the card unfinished. So... I decided to leave them in the end. So I hope you've enjoyed the video um, and I hope it's given you what you need for some inspiration. You can pop onto the website and check out my new stamps. There's lots more to come in a few weeks and um, let me know what you think. It's on Facebook and there's also some samples. Have a great day everybody. Bye bye.